when you was around Diddy, did you ever see him pit his hands on Jennifer Lopez? Well, he didn't do any violence to Mrs. J-Lo. That's why I didn't see any violence. It's a different breed, bro. He wasn't going to risk himself like that. And plus, a lot of people didn't like him. J-Lo mother didn't like him. Benny Medina didn't like him. You understand? So now, the first thing, he, if he would have ever touched Miss Lopez in any kind of aggressive way, she would have said something. Man, listen to me. The whole Bronx would have been on puff. He wasn't going. He didn't treat her like that, bro. He didn't. He didn't do none of that old crazy stuff. That play fight. That uh, beating them with pillows and all that other shit like that. Smothering them and you know, doing that childish. Shit. He didn't do that. I never seen him do that with Miss Lopez. At all. So it's a different class. It's, it, you know, he knew that she was an actress. She was a singer, songwriter, whatever like that. All her um, accolades. He did put her on a pedestal. But he still was seeing Kim. But he put her on a pedestal. So I don't, I don't think that she had those experiences. And then, you know, people only let you do what, People only do what you let them do. If he would have did that to her, he would only have one time. You see, when he ran out the club and left her after that shooting at Shine, <laughs> she ain't want to be with him no more. <laughs> Yo, she he left her. You know what I mean? So he wasn't going to treat her like, you know, he was treating the rest of them. But why do you think she hasn't spoke up yet? Like, I'm sure she know a lot, right? I just, I, I don't think Ms. Lopez, I don't think he treated her that way. You know, I don't think he treated her with any uh, uh, aggression like that. And if he did, it wasn't on my watch. He would always, like, make excuses. Like, she was about to, she was about to go off a couple of times in the studio. Because the girls that was up in there was disrespectful to her. So, but I, I, I don't think that she, I don't think that she has a story where Puff was trying to be abusive or was abusive to her. I see, I see. But I want to backtrack, right? Because you made a comment, and I want you to go more into detail about it. You said that Diddy, when he was with Jennifer Lopez, he was still saying Kim Porter? Yeah. Kim couldn't go nowhere. Kim couldn't go nowhere, bro. Kim couldn't have no relationships. Kim couldn't be at no club. If he called Kim's house, and at this time she had this little Spanish-looking girl, and she might have a case. <laughs> she might have a case. <laughs> it was Christian babysitter. She might get in touch with a lawyer. Whew. That's all I'm going to say on that one. His babysitter. What's the deal with that? What you mean by that? Kim had a babysitter that Puff had in his pocket, whereas that she would tell everything Kim was doing, every place Kim was going, and, and, I would catch her over at Puff House in the morning and Christian wasn't there, Justin wasn't there. Nobody was there. And I would put her in the cab so she could go home. When I came there some Saturday mornings, Saturday and Sunday morning. Wow, so the babysitter that was working for Kim Porter, she was going behind her back and telling Diddy everything that she was doing. Yeah. Yeah, that's wild. So the whole time that him and Jennifer Lopez was dating, he was still seeing Kim Porter and controlling her at the same time. Everything. Knew everything Kim was doing. He didn't have to have cameras. He had eyes and ears. <laughs>